hello guys in this video we'll see how to install multico latest version on kali linux 2025.3 okay first to open any web browser then go to multico official website that is multico.com then click on resources then for customers you have to click on download multico but before downloading create an account because later we need username and password for activation okay i have already created but use for free with multico id click on it then we have to provide email first name last name then we have to enter we have to fill all these details okay this is the way to create multico id okay then go to resources for customers then for customers then click on download multico also by default we have the multico comes as a default application see here but in this video i am going to download latest version the latest version is 4.11 okay select linux then select data bin package okay then click on download multico graph see download started and its size is 206 megabytes wait until download completes once download completes then we will install this debian package see download is completed now open terminal go to downloads directory ls see here we have the multico version number 4.11.0 debian package we have to install it sudo dpkg hyphen i then multico press the tab to auto fill entire debian package name hit enter for the password of sudo user hit enter see we have successfully installed multico 4.11 okay now open multico search for multico click on it to open see here we, we have the multico 4.11 now we have to activate if you have license key select license key or select the multico id that we have created then click on next then see here offline activation or online activation this is the default one select it and click on next now select the accept for the terms and conditions then click on next now click on browser login will be opened in a in web browser now provide the email or username see authentication complete now go to multico application see here browser login was successful then click on next see it is activating with multico id we have to perform all these steps see in the background it is changing now see here multico graph desktop activation successful click on next now install transforms from utilities or multico local transform server i don't have multico local transform server so select the utilities then click on next now it is downloading the data sources see completed the following items were downloaded 17 application servers 185 transforms 102 icons 228 entities 56 transform sets and eight machines then click on next select this check box for the disclaimer then click on next now it is installing data sources see it is completed then click on next if you want to send automatically error reports then you have to select the check box i don't want then click on next now we have to select the default web browser i am going to select default system web browser system browser but you can select any one of these okay i am going to i am going with the default so click on next privacy mode see here we have the two modes normal and stealth see here the difference between normal privacy mode and stealth privacy mode okay whatever you want you can select i am going with normal then click on next ready set and go and 
See, your new Maltico client has been initialized successfully. You can read full user guide online. You are now ready to use Maltico. We have three options. Open a blank graph and let me play around or open an example graph or go away. I have done this before. Okay. If you, I'm going to select open an example graph. Then click on finish. Wait a moment. It will open new graph. Otherwise, click on this new button. See, it's opening. See, you got the graph. Low memory allocation allocated. Click on OK. Then close this one. See here, in the left side entity palette. See here, we have different entities. OK. Whatever you want, you can click on them and you can drag onto the graph. Click on this. This is domain. This is domain entity. See here. See, these are the transforms for this multico.com. See here, we have this. OK. If you click on each one, you will get different options here. See IP address, net block, location, okay, and this is company details and others. And if you want to create new graph, just click on new. Then we have to drag these entities. Like if you want to like domain, just search here. See here we have the DNS name domain name then you need to drag to this one then we have to provide click on here here we have to provide the domain name and hit enter okay multico.com hit enter now right click and run transforms see here we can run any one of these transforms like domain owner name select it select it again hit a moment it will be populated see see we got the output See here, okay. This is the way to use. You can go through the online documentation and practice. See, go to this setup document, live learning, go to resources, getting started with Multigo. Then you can see here we have different options. You can go through it and you can practice. Live learning, click on live learning. Then see here we have different options upcoming lessons, register then you can practice okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install multi download and install multigo latest version 4.11 on kali linux 2025.3 then we have activated and we have seen how to add the entity palettes and run the transforms on kali linux okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you